Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is another installment of my Monday to Friday work outfit series where I film what I actually wore to work. So the first thing I want to show you is the coat that I've been wearing on repeat recently. Camel coats are really having a moment but you know my favorite part about the trend is how soft it looks against the skin and the fact that it's really never going to go anywhere because they've always been such a classic. I prefer a belted style and I did end up splurging on a centaur piece. I'll include some other options in the info bar down below as well as links for everything that I wore and alternatives. I really like that this one has a hood. It makes it perfect for the Vancouver weather. It actually was raining while I was shooting this and a few of the other days as well. It's not been the best weather and you can see a few raindrops here and there but don't mind that because I really just want to show you what I'm wearing and then head off to work. So for this first Monday outfit I'm wearing something I was really excited to wear for the first time and that is my new tweed dress. It's a tweed boucle fabric. It's from Halogen. I got it taken in a little bit and even after the simple alteration the price for this dress is still amazing. It's just such a good Chanel-esque dress. Sometimes the fabric can end up looking a little bit cheap but for this one you can see it's very thick and therefore quite warm as well and just very comfortable. I love the little fringe, the double fringe on the sleeves and I love the white detail in the thread as well because it just looks so good with classic white pearls and just really really easy to accessorize so I paired it with my Louis Vuitton Montaigne handbag and my Alexander Wang cutout pumps. I like that they have a small block heel because that plays up the kind of 60s style of the dress. You could play it down a little bit by just doing a regular classic black pump or even a boot as well if you live somewhere that's a little bit colder than I do. For my Tuesday outfit I actually decided to style this new new bow blouse in a little bit more of an edgy way than I usually would. So I've worn it with just classic black trousers or with jeans and that's really easy but for this look I wanted to do something that was going to be a little bit more fierce so I paired it with my halogen a-line leather skirt which I'm so happy with the quality for the price was amazing the blouse that I'm wearing is just the most gorgeous Kelly green it's from Millie and I'll include some other alternatives down below because I don't believe this one is available anymore but I think what's interesting is that this style can be worn so many different ways it's super classic, a little bit 70s and very flattering and feminine. I think it also looks really great with some dangle earrings rather than a necklace and so I wore it with my pearlberry earrings in classic white and otherwise kept it really simple just to let the shirt and skirt combination stand out. So I wore my Aquatalia Roomba boots. These are so hard wearing. This is my third year wearing them now. I couldn't find an alternative yet that I love and so I'm still wearing these ones and they're great for the rain. You can see a few more raindrops in this particular segment as well another rainy day but this outfit kept me feeling stylish throughout on Wednesday I decided to go with one of my favorite winter styling routines which is just to layer some knitwear that is not too thick so that it, the whole thing isn't too bulky I went with more of a long line approach here so it's a longer dress it's actually almost a midi length and I paired it with a long line cardigan with the sleeves pushed up. I think this outfit is really cozy. It's also really comfortable and the colors are really easy to wear in the gray tones. I like how this dress has a little bit of interest. I picked it up in the January sales um, with the triangular detailing and the houndstooth print. If you don't yet have a long line black cardigan that's not too bulky, it's a must have in my opinion. One of my most worn layering pieces and I really like the look of the long dress with it actually it's a little bit different for me and I paired it with a long necklace to play up the long line look so this is my dew drop dove gray pearl necklace on sterling silver I really like how this adds a lot of movement to any outfit when it's worn long you can also wear it short as well and then that downplays the long line look of the outfit and draws the eye upwards so I wore it doubled up just to show you and then I paired it with my new Chanel chevron I've been using this bag quite a bit and the same room boots that you saw in the previous outfit and otherwise just kept it really simple really warm for another pretty cold day 
On Thursday, I again went for layered knitwear, no surprise, but the colors of this one are so fun to me. They are just so warm, and if you're feeling a little bit sallow in the skin, something like this can really help to warm up your complexion. So I wore this Neiman Marcus short sleeve um, roll neck jumper, and I really like the volume that it gives. It even helps to give your hair volume as well by pushing it out. I paired it with a copper blazer from Ellie Tahiri that I got on sale, and my pearl berry earrings in rose gold again just to add some warmth to the face I really like how it looks with the kind of pumpkin spice color of the sweater it's just such a cozy comfortable outfit featuring pretty much all my favorite things my halogen um, slim black pants so comfortable and some Louise et compagnie block heels I don't think they have these particular ones anymore but I highly recommend that brand for just work appropriate shoes that are really comfortable and really well priced as well their fabric but I've worn them through the rain through this whole winter and they still look absolutely brand new. On Friday, I wore my new blazer, of course. I do prefer it worn separate from the dress. I think it's too much boucle fabric otherwise, although it's a personal choice. But I love, love, love how it looks paired with some basic trousers or jeans. In this look, I paired it with a turtleneck that's from Theory. It adds a little bit of extra warmth because it's cashmere. And then I paired it with the same Louis Vuitton bag that you saw on Monday. And my Gucci loafers, and I have to say, I think it's official. I have jumped on the loafer bandwagon. I think they're so comfortable. I love how they add a little bit of extra um, androgynous style to my otherwise very feminine aesthetic and I just think they look really neat. I don't mind how they come higher up on the foot and they're really just easy to walk in, easy to wear all day. And they look really nice with jeans for casual Friday if you have a bit more of a casual office. I think they're a great choice. So that is it for this five days of fashion. Everything is linked down below. I hope you guys found it useful and I will see you in my next installment on style.